Okay, so uh, math 20-3, unit of change, slope and rate of change. Uh, so uh, this is our first lesson in the slope unit. Um, my name is Mrs. Finley. I better put a pen on so we can actually write. And let's see what we get. Now, introduction to slope and calculating slope using words. Uh, examine each of the lines on the grid below. Which line is the steepest and how do we know? So, uh, looking at each of these lines, we're going to say, uh, figure out what their slope is and see which one is the steepest. Now, steepest means it's going to have the sharpest incline. Um, so, A, if we look at A, it goes up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and it goes over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's 5 over 6 is its slope. Um, we don't know if that's the steepest. Looking at, just looking at it compared to some of the other lines, I don't think it is the steepest. B, looking at B, we go uh, up 2 over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, and I can reduce that to one third. Okay. Again, I think that one's actually a pretty shallow line compared to some of the other ones. So I think we're okay there. C, C is going down, but still we can say that it is one, two, we can still look at its steepness. So it goes from one, two, three, four, five, and it goes up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So rise is 7 over 5 and we would say it's negative because it's going down okay d looking at d even though it's a short little line it's actually pretty steep it goes up one two three and over one so three over one which equals three um e goes up one two three four and over three, so four thirds. Okay. F. F goes up three and over two. Um, and already looking at these, I can cross some of them out in terms of this. What is the steepest? Because so far, uh, well, five over six is less than three, so it's not A. But 1 over 3 is much less than 3, so it's not B. 7 over 5, well, 5 goes into 7 once with 2 left over, so it is much less than 3. Uh, 4 over 3 would be 3 goes into 4 once with 1 left over, so it's not E. 3 over 2, that's 1 and a half, so 3 is still bigger. So already I can rule out a bunch of them. Uh, but let, let's look at the rest. G, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, divided by 1, 2, 3. 8 over 3, it's close, but 8 divided by 3, 3 goes in twice with 2 left over. So it's 2 and 2 thirds. So it's still less than 3, so I can rule that one out. H, H goes up 2 over 3, well, 2 thirds, that one can rule out, because it is less than 3, and H, I, well, this one looks very steep, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 1, 5 over 1, which is 5, so H, or sorry, I, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, is quite a bit more steep, or like it is more steep than D. So at this point, I can rule out D. Uh, and then our last line, J. I think this is our last one. One, two, three, four, five over one. So it is also five over one. So I and J would be our steepest lines. Now, beyond doing that math work, just looking at them, there's a number that 
that I would kind of look at and say, well, I think those ones probably are the ones I'd be considering. Certainly J looks very steep. G looks steep. I looks steep. Um, even D looks very steep. So just looking at them compared to some of the other lines, those I would say are, are amongst the deepest, steepest. And I might rule out some of the other ones um, if I'm using my eyeballs to kind of make that determination. Okay, working with slope. Um, <clears throat> so, working with slope, I want to put it on a good pen. Now you might have heard words like pitch or slant or steepness, grade. There's lots of different words to, to talk about slope, um, you know, to describe how steep something is. And what do these terms mean? Well, they're all words to describe slope, how steep something is, how far you have to go up over uh, uh, a distance. Their words to describe, describe slope, and slope is a ratio that com compares the vertical change or the rise to the horizontal change. Call that the run. It's a ratio between those two numbers. Now, slope can be expressed as follows. So slope is equal to the change in, this means change in, vertical distance over the change in the horizontal distance, or we call this the rise over the run, okay? Now, we use a variable to describe slope. And the variable we use is m. Now, <clears throat> again, we call this, we can also call this the rise over the run. And we can express it as slope is equal to rise over run. You'll notice I like to jump right to rise over run because that's what you might be actually more familiar with because you should have heard that for the last few years. In other words, Slope describes how steeply something is slanted by comparing how quickly it rises for a change of one unit of run, okay? For example, calculate the slope of a line that has a rise of 12 centimeters for a run of eight centimeters. Draw a diagram, okay? So if I have a line that's going to go up 12 centimeters over a run of 8 centimeters. So this is my rise. This is my run. So what I want to know is what is the slope of that line. So my slope is rise over run, so it's 12 centimeters over eight centimeters. Now, when it's over, we divide, right? Now the centimeters are going to cancel out, right? So my slope, which is equal to M, will be 1.5. There's no units. Um, because it's a ratio, not a measurement, okay? Um, and the, you can see how the two centimeters kind of cancel out, okay? <clears throat> so unit conversion review. Slope doesn't have units on its own because it's a ratio, not a measurement. Um, in order for the units of slope to cancel, we need to make sure that the rise and the run have the same units. So you might have to do converting. Yikes. So 
<clears throat> Example number one, converting the following. 200 feet equals how many yards? So, um, so let's, let's figure that out. Two yards, so we're going from feet to yards. Um, there are uh, how many feet in a yard? Well, there are three feet in one yard. So uh, 200 feet in yards would be, I misplaced my calculator. There's three feet in one yard. So <clears throat> um, that means that one foot equals 0 0.3 repeating yards. Okay. So, two hundred. So, uh, two hundred feet uh, equals six six point six repeating yards. Mm. Now, what did I do to do that? I went on. I went online and uh, figured out and found a converter and. Um, that's what I recommend a lot of you do, but we can also do a little bit of math to do that. Um, <clears throat> sorry. I need to get an eraser, so I'm going to erase this. So how do we do that? So if there are three feet in one yard, that means that 200 feet is equal to how many yards? And what I'm going to do is cross multiply and divide. So I multiply across and then I divide. So if I take 200 divided by 3, I get 66.6 .6 repeating for my yards. So if you go online, you can find conversions and you can kind of see how those work. Now, most of the time, you're gonna get things in the same units. Um, and like I said, I don't mind if you go online and you find a conversion. I just put in feet to yards because we don't use Imperial very often and found that conversion right there. 54 inches uh, and is how many centimeters? So inches to centimeters. Um, so, uh, one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. So this one's easier because all I have to do is multiply this by 2.54 because each inch is going to be 2.5 centimeters. So 54 times 2.54 will give me 137.16 centimeters. And you're saying, this is Finley, why are we learning this? Well, it's basically so that um, you know uh, that if you're given units that are mixed up, you can solve them. Now, centimeters to meters, that's a lot easier. There are 100 centimeters in one meter. Um, so whenever we're converting a metric, it's just a matter of moving the decimal place. So if I have 25 centimeters, there's two zeros in the centimeters. One zero zero centimeters equals one meter. So I'm just going to move the decimal place two spaces, right? And I get 0.25 meters. Um, 100 centimeters is how many inches? Well, we said one inch is 2.5 centimeters, 2.54 centimeters. So if I have, <clears throat> looking at what I did over here, uh, uh, one inch is 2.54 centimeters. So how many inches is 100 centimeters? 
and I'm going to cross multiply and divide. So 100 divided by 2.54 and I get 39.37 inches. Okay. Now, um, hopefully we get a lot where we're not having to do conversion. That would be lovely, but let's see what happens. Okay. Um, so for example, um, a pyramid has a rise of 3,000 feet and a run of 2,000 yards. Calculate the slope. So we need to make sure they're in the both same units. I have feet and I have yards. So, <clears throat> uh, one yard is equal to uh, three feet. So if I times this by three, I'll get the number of feet. So, so 2,000 yards would be 6,000 feet, okay? So just I'll write that down. One yard equals three feet, okay? So for my slope, it's rise over run, which is 3,000 feet over well, we won't put in 2,000 yards, we'll put in the 6,000 feet because we need them in the same units so that these will cancel out. 3,000 divided by 6,000 is 0 0.5. And again, there's no units because it's a ratio, okay? Example three, a wheelchair ramp has a rise of one meter and a run of 12 feet. Ooh. Okay, meters to feet. So how do we figure out meters to feet? Um, again, meters to feet. One meter is equal to, ah, my apologies. One meter equals 3.28 feet. So if I multiply that by 3.28, that's how many feet it is. So my slope, m, is equal to rise over run. The hard part of these is actually the conversion. It is not the actual figuring out slope. So three point, the rise is 3.28 feet. And the run is 12 feet. So again, because we have feet on the top and the bottom, they divide out. So we go 3.28 divided by 12, which gives us 0 0.26 repeating for our slope. And we can write that as 0 0.27 because we can round that because um, it says calculate to two decimal places. A mountain has a rise of 1,000 meters and a run of 1.2 kilometers. Calculate the slope to two decimal places. So this is meters and this is kilometers. There are 1,000 meters in each kilometer. So if I multiply 1.2 by 1,000, I will get 1 or 1,200 kilometers, okay? So that gives me my rise and my run. So M is equal to rise over run. Don't worry that it's a mountain. It's a ratio for slope, so it can be pretty tall or pretty short. Um, it's still a ratio. So the rise is 1,000 meters, and the run now is, oops, I only caught my error, is 1,200 meters. Um, <clears throat> the meters will cancel out, and my run will be, Uh, 
let me double check that. Sorry, I think I pushed the wrong button. 0 0.83 repeating. And it says to two decimal places, so just 0 0.83 would be my slope. Okay. So those are, so we're doing two things here. We're doing this conversion. We're making sure they're in the same unit. Um, uh, and uh, you can go online or I'm gonna see before class if I can put up a bunch of conversion rates just so that you have that. Um, so you're doing a, a couple of things. You're gonna convert. They have to be in the same unit. And then you're figuring out the rise over the run, okay? so. That is what we're doing here with this uh, assignment. Now we have a couple questions for practice. Um, so you're gonna take some time right now to go through these and practice. Um, and then we'll come back together and we'll do lesson two, okay? So you're gonna do pages five and six, do those practice questions. Um, you've got a little bit of time to work on those um, and and we'll come back.